Pretty much every American this side of Bill Gates has pump fatigue these days. Recently, Tennessee had some of the highest gas prices in the country. We may need to reduce our dependence on petroleum-based fuels if we want a better economic future. Work is underway here to do just that. As this tractor rolls forward, ground is broken for a pilot biorefinery in Von Orr. State leaders believe this positions Tennessee as a national leader in biofuel production. The basic technology is there and uh, we just need to figure out how to turn it out of the lab and into uh, you know, the kind of production it takes to fuel cars all across our state. Along with the governor, several members of Tennessee's congressional delegation were on hand for the opening ceremony for this plant. It's a partnership between the University of Tennessee's Institute of Agriculture, Genera Energy, and DuPont Donesco. Together, we will show the world the way to a bio-based future where biorefineries will help America achieve energy independence. I am convinced that this is a day that will contribute immensely to a better rural economy for Tennessee. Switchgrass will be the primary feedstock for the plant, which will produce cellulosic ethanol. Also, corn cobs and other agricultural products can be used to make fuel here. This really has the, has the strong potential to revolutionize agricultural production as we know it today, but in a way that is, I think, very sustainable and in a way that uh, is a, a very good fit with the resource base that we have. The emphasis here will be on research more so than mass production, though the plant could make up to 250,000 gallons of ethanol annually. Researchers here want to find the most efficient way to make biofuels and how to best use Tennessee farm products like switchgrass. David Richeson grew switchgrass on his Loudoun County farm, one of 16 producers who are part of UT's research. His family got out of the dairy business recently, and Richeson believes switchgrass is an exciting opportunity for Tennessee farmers. It was just like a perfect fit for us because we had land that would become idle uh, if we didn't, uh, you know, going out of the dairy business. So, so like I said, we were looking for uh, ways to, you know, let that land contribute to our revenue source for our, for our farming operation. The plant should produce its first gallon of ethanol in late 2009. This is Chuck Denny reporting.